Hey everybody, it's Silver Seeker, and today I wanted to spend a little bit of time with you talking about the difference between silver stacking and silver collecting. Now, of course, one of the reasons I want to do this is because I do both. I do like to stack silver for low premiums, the stuff that you can get the most silver for your money, like buffaloes and silver bars, things like that. But I also love how beautiful silver can be, and I love when they put some really cool designs on silver, like the Wedgetail Eagles, for example, right here. And of course, I'm into some IPs, like I like video games, so Tetris and Sonic appeals to me. So I do collect some of the higher premium silver, as well as stack the low premium silver. And so I wanted to talk to you about why both of those are different, but also why they can be done together. And then at the end of the video, I wanted to share one more thing with you. If you guys haven't seen some of the really cool stuff that's very special to me in this video, I'm going to share with you some of the stuff out of my own collection. So if you guys are interested in that, feel free to stick around till the end of the video and I'll show you a few things from my personal collection. But before we do, don't forget to go down below. Make sure you are subscribed. It really helps the channel out if you do. Additionally, don't forget to hit that like. It helps YouTube recommend this video to others. All right, let's start talking about it. Okay, so what is silver stacking? Well, of course, like I kind of said at the beginning of the video, silver stacking is the attempt to collect as much silver as you can for the least amount of money that you can spend. So when you go into a coin shop, for example, and you're looking to buy silver and you're looking to get as much silver as you can for what you have in your pocket, then you're gonna wanna look at things like buffaloes or even 10 ounce bars, or if you have really deep pockets, you can even look at 100 ounce bars because a 100 ounce bar, usually you get a smaller premium on. And at the end of the day, you're gonna have more silver for the same money. So for example, if these buffaloes were 25 a piece, but a 100 ounce bar was $2,450, you're getting 100 ounces of silver for $50 less than if you would have bought 100 of these one ounce rounds. So the same amount of silver for the least amount of money. Now, when you look at silver collecting, like I talked about beautiful silver designs and the beauty of silver, uh, you, a lot of these things have much higher premiums. Uh, you know, Frazier's Dolphins, for example, these are, I think, are going for around 12 to 15 over. Uh, the Spinner Dolphin is going for even a little bit more right now, just because it was last year's instead of this year's. And so when you uh, think about stuff like that, you don't want to, if you're wanting to stack silver, you're not wanting, you're not going to want to buy 100 Spinner Dolphins because 100 Spinner Dolphins would cost you way more than 100 Buffalo. So you would have to spend more money for the same amount of silver. So a lot of people like to stack and collect like I do. And so they will stack, you know, the majority of what they spend, they will spend on generic silver so they can build their stack up. And at the same time, they give themselves something really cool that they can enjoy, that they can pull out of the safe and that they can look at. And that's what this stuff is. Now, one thing that's really cool, something you can do when it comes to stacking and collecting, let's say you have a collectible piece that you really want. For example, this dice coin right here. Now, full disclaimer, this dice coin was a gift. I did not buy it. This was a gift from my moderators on the channel. So thank you so much to you guys for doing that. But this dice coin right here has a very high premium on it. These two ounce coins go for around a hundred bucks and up. So let's say you really wanted this, but you also wanted to buy a hundred ounces of silver. Well, if you were able to buy buffaloes for $25 an ounce and this was a hundred, this is 50 an ounce. But at the end of the day, let's say you said, well, I'm going to buy a hundred ounces. So I'll buy 98 buffaloes and I'll buy this. So really what you're actually spending, if you were to take the full price that you spent on 98 buffaloes plus this two ounce dice for 100 ounces, and you add it together, and then you divide it by 100, you'll realize that you actually only ended up spending about 50 cents more per ounce, which as you guys know, if you look at spot, I mean, 50 cents can happen in one day all the time. It can go up, it can go down. So really, uh, you just spent a little bit more you know, per ounce to get 100 ounces, but it just so happens that two ounces were a dice coin. So that is one way you can look at it. I mean, still at the end of the day, you did spend more money, you did spend more for this dice coin than you did two of these buffaloes but it's it's one way of washing out the amount of money that you spent on something premium when you add it alongside a bunch of buffaloes or even if you can't buy 100 ounces at once say all right i'm only going to buy one beautiful silver coin every time I stack 50 ounces. That way you can say, all right, cool, I got 50 ounces aside, now let's splurge a little bit and get something really cool like a Tetris. It, that, of course, if you're into the Tetris. Of course, it could be like the Libertads. I love the Libertads, you know, things like that. But you get my point. So now that that's out of the way, guys, now that you know what my opinion is between the difference of collecting and stacking and a good way that you can do both together, like I promised, I'm going to show you guys some of the really cool stuff that means a lot to me out of my collection. So if you guys are interested in seeing some cool stuff, stick around. If you're not, you guys can go here uh, but on your way out don't forget to hit that like and don't forget to make sure you are subscribed if you want to learn more about silver stacking and more okay so this one right here this is a two ounce silver dice coin like i said in the video this was actually a gift for my moderators on the channel this is really cool though so if you look at the side you have one you have two you have three four and then where the five would be is actually the queen's face. Now, I'm not a big fan of the queen's face, but I do like that they put the $5 face value of this. By the way, this is a real coin. It's a really $5 face value, um, but in Nui. 
I believe it's Nui that made this. But anyway, it's really $5 space value. Oh, Solomon Islands. My apologies. Anyway, it's really a real legal tender coin that you could spend in that country. But they it's a $5 coin, so they put the $5 on that side. And then, of course, you have the 6 as well. Now, this was a gift for my moderators because we like to use dice and stuff on you know some of the fun games on the channel. Um, and I like to say no dice when I'm opening a roll and I don't see any silver in it. I'll say no dice because you know there was nothing in it. And they're like, you were never going to find a silver dice coin in your roll to see or what are you doing all right this next one uh let's take a look at this this was a gift from ag price now this is an 1860 uh seated liberty half dollar now of course this is a coin uh and not really bullion but i just wanted to share this because this meant a lot to me he knows that i love seated liberty designs and was uh very very nice enough to send this to me as a gift a long time ago so ag thank you so much for that really love it uh, here's another one that means a lot to me. This one comes from a uh, channel member, and he's also one of my um, subscribers and also one of my channel members of Foot for Silver. Uh, Foot's a really good guy. This is a 2013P Australian Wintergreen Tree Frog. Now, what's really cool about this is if you guys watch my live streams, especially my corn roll hunts, we like to you know do this. It's Wednesday, my dude's frog video, thanks to Zimmo Nitrum that created those and gave me permission to use them on the stream. But he thought he'd send this to me because it's a frog coin and it fits the it's Wednesday, my dude. So that's really cool. Uh, here's one right here. This is cool. This I actually bought myself. This was at a coin show. I didn't even know these existed until I bought them at the coin show. I think it was about a year and a half, two years ago that I picked this up. I did a video where I showed what I picked up at the coin show and this was in it. But this is really cool just because it's a bottle cap, and obviously it's never actually been put on a bottle and pressed to close, but it's real silver from Fiji 2018. It's a real coin uh, with a face value, and uh, it's also a Coca-Cola bottle cap. I just thought that was really cool, so I picked that up. I had to have that in my collection. That was just that was wild, so I had to get it. All right, this next one here, this is another gift. This one comes from uh, Silver Surfer. So Silver Surfer, thank you so much for this. And guys, this is really cool. I want to share this with you because the serial number is wild. So sorry about that. It took me a second to get out there. But this is a Superman Shield logo. Take a look at this. It's a one ounce silver. They only made 5,000 of these. It's from Nui 2021. But take a look at this. We're going to get out the COA and I'm going to tell you a story about this. So 2021 Superman, one ounce, 99 fine, silver coin, limited edition, 5,000 pieces. Take a look at the serial number five. Yes, guys, this is number five of 5,000. That is really, really wild. So I was excited to get this and a huge thank you so much to uh, Silver Surfer for doing that. He originally had actually sent me number eight, but a while back we did a charity benefit auction for one of my mods that's going through some medical issues. And Silver Surfer said, auction off number eight, I'll send you number five. And what's really cool, by the way, is not only did he do that, he donated to AG Price. He also gave me number five, which was so wild. He also has number one. That is true. He actually has serial number one of this series. He ordered them right as they released, and he got lucky. And just I, I don't know which numbers he got, but he got like the first 10 or so of serial numbers. I thought that was cool. I would love to have serial number one. Of course, I'm never going to because that's in Silver Surfer's personal collection, and he's never going to give that up. In fact, if he did, I'd call him crazy. All right. Uh, so next up, these are sheets. Now, these are really, really cool. These plastic sheets, if you guys don't know what these are, they ship pandas in these. And so it comes in sheets of 15 pandas. These are the newer sheets. They used to come in some old flimsy plastic ones. But uh, I love taking, you know, getting these empty and then using them because they hold all sorts of capsuled coins. This collection right here, this is my Zombux collection. Now, most of these are fine. They have a pretty good premium, but I wanted to show you really cool right here. So you see we have two of the Morgue Ands. You get it, Morgue and it's a Morgan. But one of these is the Air. So if you take a look at this one, it says one ounce at 99 fine silver. We'll turn that around. One ounce 99 fine silver. But if you look at the one next to it, it actually says one ounce 999 fine copper. So I actually have the copper Morgan. Uh, this is actually a silver coin. It's just a stamped copper. I don't know if they messed up on the die because, you know, the die is the right side for silver. It'd be a little bit off for copper. So... You got me as to how that happened. Maybe they did it on purpose just to have a rarity, but I do have one. It's really cool. Those things go for insane money, like 300 bucks a piece. I'll never sell it. The only I've actually had two in my life. The other one went to Silver Jackal, uh, which is another channel mod. So Silver Jackal, that is really cool. He has that in his collection. Uh, this one right here, this is another sheet. You know, I have a lot of the Marvel coins, but what I wanted to show you in this one is this old Spider-Man. Now, this one is like 80s or 90s. And a really, really cool Spider-Man silver round. I think that thing is awesome. Flip it over to the reverse. It has, you know, some info on the reverse. It has a serial number. 
Uh, this is cool. I really like this one. Now, of course, we have the more modern Spider-Man coin. And then in this one, we have some Cooker Bears. I like this one. This has the Panda Privy. Uh, you know, we have the Back to the Future DeLorean, all sorts of stuff. And then we have a couple more like that. You know, this one right here, I like the, like I said, I like the video game stuff, so I kept a few of those. There's actually another, uh, that's the uh, Feast Dollar. You know, things like that. So these sheets are really cool and uh, they're really good for storing capsules silver coins so if you can ever pick them up if you're ever at a show and you see someone selling pandas ask if they have any of these they don't want to take back with them maybe they'll give it to you all right the last thing i want to share this is the most important coin in my collection this coin means more to me than anything else i own uh in, as far as my silver collection is concerned and I'll tell you the story behind this. Some of you may know it because I shared it on the channel a couple of years ago. But this is an 1879-0 Morgan Silver Dollar. As you can see, NGC certified that this is unk details but had artificial toning. Now, back in the day, my father and I, my late father and I, used to actually have competitions where we would, you know, grade coins. You know, I'd take the coins and I'd grade them. And then he'd take them and he'd grade them. We'd hide our grades and then we'd send them off. And when the grades come back, we would compare to see who had the better um grade you know grade average in other words who graded them the best and got back the best results so like let's say i graded one and in, in, at ms64 and then ngc sent it back and it was ms64 MS i was right anyway we'd see who was better so um when this one came back my uh, father was really upset about this because he was really excited about this coin he wanted to see what it came back and if you noticed the tone the reason they said it was artificial i'm guessing is because it doesn't go to the center but what this actually was this was sitting on the top of a roll and the air was getting to the outside rim but in the center where it's white that's where they had a little piece of paper it was in like a plastic roll not like this exactly but just an example and you know they had a little piece of paper in there that held it so that when the rolls moving around the coins didn't bounce around and scratch each other up well the air was getting around the, the outside but didn't get under the piece of paper and so that's why it toned that way and when it came back artificially toned, my dad was so upset. He, he, he just felt in his heart this was a real tone. And honestly, I do believe it is a real tone. And we were actually going to crack this and send it off to PCGS. But unfortunately, about a month after this came back, he found out that he had lung cancer. And uh, obviously, our priorities changed quite a bit. And unfortunately, uh, even more unfortunately, is uh, seven months later, that lung cancer uh, took him from us. So um, not only is uh this coin mean a ton to me but this was part of the last collection that we sent off together to have graded and come back and i can literally close my eyes and i can watch that watch it over and over again in my head um just exactly how it went down when we took this one out of the box and saw that and i can see his reaction i, I remember his voice i remember the words he said and uh you know probably not some stuff i should share on a family friendly channel but um anyway this one is there I'd probably turn down a million dollar offer for this coin. And my dad would probably, you know, <laughs> God rest his soul, my dad would probably kill me for turning down a million dollar offer for this coin. But I think I'd have to turn it down because this coin means more to me than money. So um, anyway, that is uh, just some of the really cool stuff from my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed me sharing it with you. Um, do me a favor, guys, if you did. Again, don't forget to go down below. Make sure you're subscribed. It really means a lot. Uh, helps out the channel. Don't forget, again, to hit the like button. That also helps out the channel by recommending this video to others. And uh, with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.